Hey everybody, it's Ron, and I'm back with another Swamp Thing review. Just got back from a little mini vacation for the 4th. Hope everybody had a good time this past weekend. Okay, so this is episode 6, and it starts off really strong. Last episode was pretty light on the Swamp Thing scene, so it was cool to see him in action right away here. So yeah, as predicted, Avery sends a couple hunters to kill Swamp Thing, and we get a cool fight scene. I really love how he uses his powers, and it's pretty brutal again like we've come to know from this show. He touches a tree and then shoots like wooden spikes that sink into one of the hunter guy's face. It was pretty cool. So yeah, Abby finds out what Sunderland is up to and confronts him in the hospital, but also sees the aftermath of, uh, you know, those two hunters that he hired to, to kill the Swamp Thing, and it's just brutal. Also in this episode, we have uh, Jason Woodrow injects Daniel with a concoction he's been working on from the Swamp Sample and brings him out of a coma, so we might get some Blue Devil soon. Oh, something that totally flew over my head last episode was that guy in the Swamp was supposed to be Phantom Stranger, and I just... I'm, I must not have heard him call himself Stranger, but obviously his appearance in the show is nothing like in the comics, so it threw me off a little bit. He gets another scene with Daniel on the set of a movie, and I thought it was cool that they gave him a suit this time and, and a hat to hold as a nod to the character. I like that actor. I think that's the guy from that, that Blue Ruin movie. He's also in Green Room, I think. And uh, yeah, those are two pretty good indie movies from a couple years ago, so I'm down with that casting. The cables are interesting in this show because they start out and they seem pretty well adjusted, but we find out that they're a little more corrupt as well, and Matt finally admits that he had something to do with Alec Holland's death. So yeah, and there's also a little bit of a like a love triangle going on between Abby, Matt, and Alec, but it doesn't seem like Abby is really into Matt, and she definitely won't be if she finds out that he was uh, the guy that blew up the boat, basically. As soon as Cassidy wakes up, he ends up going to Woodrow's house and gets taken down by Sunderland and placed back into the hospital. Xanadu visits him and says she can't really interfere with his destiny, but puts him at ease a little bit. This is a side plot that I really hope we get some payoff with because there's a lot of setup happening here and I don't know where it's going. I'm still a little nervous that it'll, it will uh, abruptly end and we probably won't get another season, at least not on this DC app. So that's going to be in the back of my head, unfortunately, for these last couple episodes. Overall, I thought it was pretty solid. I really want this next episode to kick into gear a little bit more. I feel like every episode had multiple scenes of Avery not so subtly uh, threatening people and having them slowly figure out that he's a bad guy. It's getting a little old now, you know, like six episodes in. So now that they all know that he's bad, it's time to get, you know, to the good bits and have them discover the Swamp Thing, raise the stakes a little bit, put put them all through danger. I like seeing more of the mystical, uh, mystical elements at play. I thought the ending was pretty intriguing on this episode. Uh, a plant starts forming on Swamp Thing's hand, and it releases a gas of some sort that makes Abby see Alec as he once was uh, when, when she inhales it. I'm pretty sure this is like a callback to uh, the Alan Moore run, the idea that some of the green can be used almost as like a psychedelic drug. So yeah, I'm interested to see what they do with that in the next episode. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe if you like the channel. It'll help me out a lot. So thanks for watching.